Hey guys, Automated Garage back today. We got another uh, review for y'all. We're gonna try something we never tried before. There may be a video on this already, don't know. But JB Weld, Tank Weld. Fuel and storage tank repair kit. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna try it on here. We got Lee here in the garage with us. He broke the Rhino again. Isn't that right, Lee? Yeah. Yep, again, he's, there's one thing that boy's good at, he's tearing stuff up. Yeah, I'm really good at breaking stuff. So this is on one of the girls' uh, Honda 200 Type 2s that they got for Christmas here. I didn't even know this was done before. Um, so this was all plastered up with the JB Weld Quick Steel, the putty stuff. Um, we had a fuel leak. I think the Petcock was leaking a little bit. I took it apart and took new over, put new O-rings in it because you can't find uh, this Petcock anymore now. At least I haven't been able to. And then uh, when I pulled the putty off, I noticed that some... Uh, really smart individual had put screws in the tank here for some reason. So this does say repairs cracks and holes, four inches in length and quarters in diameter. It has some fiberglass stuff in here with it. It's a two part epoxy with some fiberglass. So we're gonna see if we can get these screws out. We're gonna clean it up really good and then we're gonna put it on there and see how it seals up. <laughs> says to push this really hard until it busts the seam between the two like that. And mix the two together then. It says put half the product down and then put the fiberglass in it and then smear the other part on top.
nice and tacky now. I can barely leave my fingerprints in it. So uh, it says fully cures in four hours. It's been, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes and we're tacked up pretty hard. So we'll come back to this tomorrow, uh, put it back on the four wheeler and uh, fill it with gas and give it a try, see how good this works. All right, it's all set up. Next day, it's hard as a rock. Can't push my fingernail in it or nothing. So Lee's gonna throw it on here. We're gonna fill it up. Uh, I guess we'll set a timer for like an hour or something and uh, see how it does, make sure it don't leak. All right, just got done pouring gas in it at uh, let's say 140. Been about a minute or so. We'll uh, come back in an hour. If it hadn't leaked in an hour, I don't think it's gonna leak. coming up on almost an hour and we have no leaks nothing dripping it's all dry so if you're looking for a way to fix a metal gas tank give the jb well tank well to try uh i was a little bit skeptical of it i figured i'd try can't find a fuel tank for these anymore unless you get on ebay and find a used one um so i fixed those two screw holes that some idiot had put in the tank uh, years ago, sealed it up. I did let it sit completely overnight, let it totally cure up. I kept the garage at about 50 or 60 degrees so it would, it would have a warm enough environment to uh, cure in because it was a, got down in the 20s last night. So uh, give it a try. JB Weld, Tank Weld works for me. Uh, hopefully it'll work for you. It's Automatic Garage signing out. Check out some of our other videos. We're building a big shop right now. I got a ton of videos on power strokes. Got some other quad, ATV, side-by-side -side stuff. So uh, we'll holler at y'all later.